we have completed fixed bias configuration of JFET and now in this presentation we will solve one problem. You can see the problem on your screen and in this problem we have to determine these parameters for the network shown. In the A part we have to find out voltage VGSQ which is the input voltage and it is also the X coordinate of the operating point V GSQ is the X coordinate of the operating point and the Y coordinate is the drain current IDQ. In the B part we have to calculate the drain current IDQ. In the C part we will find out the output voltage VDS. VDS is the output voltage and in the D part we will find out potential at point D. We have to find out potential of the drain. In the E part we will find out VG potential of the gate and in the last part we will find out potential at the source. VD, VG and VS are not potential differences but they are potential at a point. VD, VG and VS all three are potential at a point and if we talk about VD, VD then it is equal to potential difference between between drain and ground it is equal to potential difference between drain and ground vd is the potential at the drain and potential of ground is equal to zero volt so vd minus zero volt is equal to vd and you can clearly see source is connected to the ground so potential of source is equal to zero volt so we can also write vd vd equal to vd minus vs because potential at source is equal to zero volt so vds is same as vd and in the given problem answer in case of c part will be same as answer in case of d part c and d will have the same answers now if we talk about vg if we talk about vg then it is same as vg minus zero volt and Vs is equal to 0 volt. So we can write Vg as Vg minus Vs which is same as Vgs. So answer of A part will be same as answer of E part and we already know Vs is equal to 0 volt. So we have the answer of F part. Now we will start with calculation of Vgsq and for this purpose, for this purpose I will apply Kirchhoff's voltage law in this loop. Current in this branch is the gate current and it is nearly equal to 0 amp. VGS is the input voltage VGS and from Kirchhoff's voltage law we have minus 2 volt minus 2 volt then we have to subtract the voltage drop across this resistance and the voltage drop is equal to 0 amp multiplied with 1 mega ohm which is equal to 0 volt so minus 0 volt then we have minus VGS minus VGS equal to 0 so simply voltage VGS VGS is equal to minus 2 volt this is the answer this is the answer of the A part and as the answer of A part is same as answer of E part, Vg is also equal to minus 2 volt. Now we will calculate the drain current ID and one thing you have to remember in order to represent Vgs as the coordinate of Q point we also write Q as the subscript. So Vgs Q is same as Vgs and it is equal to minus 2 volt. Let's calculate the drain current ID. We already know the drain current ID, the drain current ID is equal to IDSS inside the bracket 1 minus VGS by VP whole square. If you see the network, you will find IDSS is already given, it is equal to 10 milliamp, and pinch of voltage VP is also given, it is equal to minus 8 volt. So put IDSS and pinch of voltage here. VGS we have already calculated it is equal to minus 2 volt 
and if you make no mistake you will have the drain current equal to 5.625 milliamp now we will solve the C part of the problem in which we have to find out the output voltage VDS VDS is the voltage between drain and source and it is the output voltage to find out VDS I will apply Kirchhoff's voltage law in the output loop I will start from 16 volt and I will end at 0 volt so let's solve the C part we have 16 volt then we have drain current ID multiplied with 2 kilo ohm which is the drop across this resistance minus ID 2 kilo ohm then we have minus VDS and they are equal to they are equal to 0 volt from here you will have VDS equal to 4.75 volt you will get VDS equal to 4.7 volt if you make no mistake while calculating VDS using this equation and as we have answer in case of C part we also have the answer in case of D part because VDS is same as VD so in D part VD will be equal to 4.75 volt E part we already have the answer VG is equal to minus 2 volt and the last part the F part is having the answer Vs equal to 0 volt because source is connected to the ground and in this way we have calculated all the parameters given in the problem and the current ID we can write as IDQ because it is the Y coordinate of the operating point. So this is all for this lecture if you have any doubt you may ask in the comment section.